You can now add translation capabilities to your app. To do that, you can go to the media drawer and add a Yandex Translate component into your app. We're also going to add a label so we can see translated sentences. Changing to the blocks, you will see that there's only really two important uh, blocks for this component. One is the block that requests a translation, and the other one is the block that handles the translation when, when the translation is available. Let's try and translate something into Spanish. For that, I'm going to use a text block to indicate that I want to translate into Spanish, and the code is ES. And I'm going to add another block with the sentence that I want to translate. So for instance, hello, this is and this is amazing. Whenever we get the translation back from the server, we're gonna add it to the to the label as text. So I'm gonna say get the translation. You would probably want to put this block inside a button dot click or some event handler, but for now I'm just gonna do it from the blocks editor. So if I click and do it, you will see that my phone is gonna change whenever the translation comes back from the service and it says in Spanish Hola, esto es increíble. I can change this to French for instance with FR and I'm gonna do it again. Bonjour, I don't speak any French so I'm not gonna try to say that. Uh, you could also try German for instance the and uh, I don't speak any German either so I'm not gonna try to say that. Something important to note about this component is that we have added some text to the about this application screen. So as you can see in there, it says powered by Yandex.translate, which is the internet service that we use for the translations. It is important that you keep this sentence in the about this app screen because it's actually mandatory by the terms of use of the Yandex Translate service. 